Hey everyone, thanks so much for offering your time to help the VA Ratify ERA campaign get out the vote. In this video, we're going to show you start to finish how to use the Hustle app to text voters in key Virginia districts. This is a fun and easy way to connect with other voters. But first, we want to tell you about our super fun Ice Cream for Equality playlist that's available for free on Spotify. It's about five and a half hours of equality tunes to keep you hustling and in a happy mood. It's also a really fun way for all of us to be connected as we're hustling, whether here in Virginia, around the country, or actually around the world. Thanks so much for the international support, too. Your first step to get access is to request it by sending a note to varatifyera.hustle at gmail.com. In this email, include your first and last names, a screen name, which is usually your first name, your cell phone number, and an email address. And if you're hosting a hustle party, please send this information in for all of your guests in one email, ideally in a spreadsheet. Once your information has been added to the system, you'll receive a code on your cell phone with a link to log in on the Hustle website. Although it's possible to use a Hustle app on your phone, please do not. We ask that you use a computer for two key reasons. First, you may need to tag a user for a ride or for help with an ID, and that tagging is not available on the phone. Second, if you use a computer, the voter will not have access to your cell phone number. When logging on to Hustle.com, you will use the agent logon. So first, a little housekeeping. When you log into your account, you may see the names Center for Common Ground or Virginia Civic Engagement Table. No need to panic. These are the groups that we're working with. Okay, so getting access and logging on was the hard part. Now it's time to start having some fun. When you log into your account, it's going to take you to the workflow page and you're going to see a to-do list, likely labeled something like HD28 GOTV. That stands for House District Number 28, Get Out the Vote. Click on Begin Sending Messages. Although you can change this initial text, please just use the wording created by the campaign. We've tested out a number of scripts, and this is the one so far that's working the best. As we go along, if another script being tested works better, it'll be updated, so always use whatever is there when you log on. The gray boxes are variables so that when you're texting different voters, the name of that voter plus your screen name will be pre-filled for each text. Go ahead and click Continue. You are now ready to start texting. A few things to look at on this page. In the top center, you'll see the voter's name, and instead of a blue box, you'll see their last name. At the bottom, you're going to see the message that you're going to send, a send button, and a wheel graphic that shows how close you are to completing your first 50 texts. In the middle, well, that's a part that when, as you are texting back and forth with voters, it will begin to get filled up, but when you're first starting, it'll be empty with the shouting face. So the most important thing on this screen is to click that send button. Click it. Click it 50 times. Click it as fast as you can. And then boom, you've just sent 50 texts in about a minute with no hand cramping or any ink stained hands. So now what? If no one has responded yet, you're going to see the graphic with the trophy. It's going to give you a choice to send 50 more texts or to return to your workflows page. If you already have some responses from quick-fingered voters, you will see the conversation graphic and have the choice to respond or return to your workflow page. There are two places to respond to text. If you have any unread messages, you will have a replies section on your workflow page. Just be click Begin Sending Replies. Alternatively, you can click on the Conversations tab on the top right, which will take you to a fairly standard private messaging interface with any active conversations that you may have. So we've made replying to these texts as easy as possible with pre-scripted texts to the most common responses. At the bottom left of the message window, you're going to see three icons. The script icon looks like a chat bubble. This is where the memorized scripts are found. Answers to that key question, do you plan to vote, are found at the clipboard. And the icon for the emoji is just for fun for when you're typing your own note. If the voter has responded to your question, do you plan to vote, with a simple yes, no, unsure, or ineligible, you can select the clipboard and then click the corresponding choice. You may have to scroll down to find ineligible. If you click one of those choices, it will pre-fill a script for you into the conversation, which you can either edit or just hit send. Generally speaking, go ahead and hit send unless their response requires something else. So these are the standard responses when a voter answers the question about voting on November 5th. To access them, you just click 
click that clipboard icon and choose yes, no, unsure, or no, ineligible. If the response is something else, then click on that script icon, the speech bubble, and scroll down to pick the appropriate response. Please feel free to pause the video and read through the variety of choices on the next few screens. By far, our most common response is wrong number, and there are a few options in this case, and please get familiar with them. You will likely use each of them at least once or twice. The other most common response is pushback to the issue of constitutional gender equality. If you do get pushback, here are a few script choices with Equal Rights Amendment information to educate rather than debate. We will give further examples shortly. When you find the script you want to use, just click on the body of the message and it will pre-fill it for you. Again, you can edit it or just hit send. If none of the scripts are appropriate, but you feel like you know what to say, just go ahead and type it and send your own response. If you are unsure of how to proceed, please make note of the voter's name and district number and use one of our helplines to send us an email for advice. That information is at the end of this video. So if you get a voter who says yes they plan to vote and you respond with the standard can we help you plan your vote, if you get a, a positive affirmative answer to one of the pieces of helping them plan their vote, these are your standard answers for each of those. The final script at the bottom with the blue stars is the ultimate for an enthusiastic voter. We can grow our Get Out the Vote program exponentially if voters will also copy and paste and text to their friends and family who may or may not have a cell phone in this database. If you have a voter who indicates they need some help getting a voter ID or a ride to the polls, you will need to tag that voter so someone can get them that help. On the right side of the page, you're going to see profile of a person that you're texting with. And if you don't, look at the top center and you should see the word profile, show profile, just click on that. So when the profile box is to the right, there's a drop down menu labeled tags with various choices that you can select. The two key tags for a voter who needs help with planning their vote is needs photo ID help or needs a ride. Please be sure to tag every voter who needs this assistant with assistance with voting. They're counting on us. The ability to tag is only available on a computer and this is why we need you to use that computer instead of a phone. We want to make sure voters get the assistance they need. So now let's look at some of the most common situations and recommended approaches. Wrong number is definitely the number one response that we hear, so let's cover that first. When someone says they, we have the wrong number, please try and find out if the person on the other end is a Virginia voter. The goal is to keep the conversation going because if this is a different Virginia voter, it's still worth continuing the conversation and finding out if they plan to vote on November 5th. If they are not a Virginian, go ahead and opt them out by clicking opt out. A wrong number is the only reason to opt someone out. And as a side note, there is a standard script that tells a voter if they type STOP in all caps, the system will automatically remove them. If you get any helpful information, like this is my wife's phone, or I'm not Ben, but I have a brother named Ben, you can click Edit Profile and enter a note. These notes will then be used to update information. Do not type into the follow-up comments field, just the notes field. This is because of how the data is being used on the back end by our administrators. Also, please do not change any other field information since everything's tied to a voter record. Just use the notes field and the tags as appropriate. So if you have no active conversations and you're wondering what should I do, just head back to the workflows and send 50 more send a hundred more, keep sending texts as long as you're able to keep up with the responses. As a rule of thumb, expect about six to ten responses per 100 texts. As you may imagine, the voter at the other end of the phone sometimes responds negatively or positively to our stated issue of constitutional gender equality. Our job is to educate, but not to debate. There's a range of pushback. Some are more curious and others are more troll-like. So here are a few examples. If you get a negative response, please use the ERA necessary script to gently push back with facts. Here's an example that started out negatively but turned into a constructive conversation. Again, please feel free to pause the video as needed. 
Your ability to stay in a neutral educational mindset is key to pivoting off a negative start. And feel free to download this slide deck off our text page from the website so you have these notes for reference if you need them. And this is how the conversation ended. This particular voter got all of his questions answered and cho chose to disengage. Considering how it started, we consider this scripting a success. If you need any facts, we recommend the FAQ link from our website. If you find your questions more nuanced or not covered, we have a subject matter expert who will answer calls on an ERA helpline. This helpline is for ERA facts and questions. There will be another Hustle helpline number given at the end of this slide deck, and that's for questions on Hustle. Generally speaking, if you receive pushback from a voter, we recommend responding once and then disengaging if necessary. Other times, with extreme sarcasm, you can just ignore it and move on right away. Sometimes there's no real point in engaging whatsoever unless you feel like banging your head against a wall. Sarcastic comments do not require a response, but if you do, please keep it professional and nonpartisan. Your work represents the whole VA Ratify ERA campaign, as well as equality advocates around the country. If you get a response that's particularly cringeworthy, please don't take it personally, but definitely send us a screenshot at varatifyera.hustle at gmail.com. Don't let the trolls get you down. In fact, we are planning our own version of celebrity mean tweets to help keep it fun, so we need those from beneath the bridge responses. Feel free to post it to social media, but do not disclose any personal information like the name or telephone number of the voter. You can tag us with hashtag VA Ratify ERA, hashtag why not equality. And remember to have fun, especially if you're having a hustle party. If you get any questions about the ERA that you don't feel comfortable answering and you need a live person to help you respond, call the ERA FAQ helpline at 804-464-8778. If you have hustle questions, call the ERA hustle helpline at 804-464-8753. Please remember everything is volunteer on these helplines, but we'll get back to people as soon as we can. Thank you so much for joining the team and happy hustling.